Hi everyone, um, this tutorial is going to show you how to basically set up a text render object and to make it visible and invisible by a really simple trigger in the world. This can be useful if you just want floating text and you don't want to go through doing all the widgets. Um, also for those of you who are having problems with widgets crashing your computers, this is, might be a workaround for you. Um, the good thing is, is it's really simple, it's text, it's out in the world. Um, the bad thing is it makes it more problematic if you want it to look, to look like a note or something like that. So anyway, without further ado, here's how we create a, a very simple render object. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a blank blueprint to put my text render component in. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a blueprint class. It's going to be an actor. And I'm going to name this text render test. Just give it any, you guys, of course, can name it anything you like. So we'll double click on it to open it. And so now I have a blank blueprint with a default scene route. So I'm going to click on the default scene, scene route. I'm going to click on the add component and search for, I just type in the word text. And it's going to bring up the text render component. So I'm going to click on that and so now I have the the you know standard word text in there and I have a text render object. I'm going to compile it, save it. I'm going to go back to my map and then I'm going to drag my new blueprint out into the world. And if I if I click on it, you notice oops if you click on it, you notice there you can see here's my object and here's the hierarchy, right, of all the stuff. There's the default scene root and there's my text render object itself. So if I go into the details panel for that object, I can change all kinds of things. First, I can change the actual letters or the text that's appearing. So I'm just going to type out this is a test. You can, you know, obviously you can put whatever you want. And you'll notice that there it is, and I can I can move it around, right? I can also you know move the whole thing around or move the whole blueprint around, but whatever. Now I can also change my text render color, <clears throat> right? So if we click in this, we get our color picker coming up. So I can make it blue or red. Let's saturate that a little bit more. There we go. Um, and I can change um, the size of the font, so world size. Right, so I can make it bigger or smaller, whatever I like. You can also, um, if you click on um, your the fonts that you have, there's a drop down arrow. There are different types of preloaded fonts. You can also import your own custom fault font into um, Unreal as well, but I'm not going to go over that. There's plenty of tutorials online for that. So now, um, basically, if I hit play. I look around and you can see I've got this text just floating in the world and I can go right up to it. Okay, so what we want to do now is to toggle it on and off, right? To hide it and make it visible. So right now I'm going to click on it and it's visible, um, but I want it to be invisible. So if I click on, again, click on my blueprint in the world, then I click on in the hierarchy, the text render itself. And if I scroll down into the details panel, under um, rendering, you can see there's a visible checkbox. So this I want to uncheck and you can see right away it makes it not visible. And again, when I play, look around, it's not visible anymore. Okay, so that's step one. My text is invisible now and what I want to happen is when player steps on a trigger to make it visible. All right, so I'm going to drag a box trigger out into the world. I'm going to size it to make sure that I actually trigger it. All right, so you can make this whatever size you want. Then I'm going to right click on it. Oops. And I'm going to add an event on actor begin overlap, right? So when my player, like, like we've done a million times before, when my player hits this, I want something to happen. Okay, so on actor begin overlap, I'm going to compile that. Now I want to create a reference to my text render object. So I click on it out in the world. Then I go back into my level blueprint 
and I right click and I create a reference to that my text render blueprint. I'm going to drag off my blueprint reference then I'm going to search for visible. And as I do, you know, there's a, there you can notice there's a lot of things. There's a toggle um, visibility of the default scene route um, and the text render. I am going to use just for this example, we're going to set visibility and we're going to do it for um, our text render blueprint. Oops. Connect these up. So now what I want to do with the set visibility is I want to change, I want to set a new visibility. So whatever it is now that's been set in the world, I want it to be different, right? So it's an on off switch. And I also want to check propagate to children. Let's compile this. Now let's see if it works. Okay, we look around. I do not see my text. I hit my trigger and I do. Okay. There we go. So that's it. Now, word of warning, I'm gonna um, click on this. <laughs> you notice that these all have their, the default scene route has its own visible and its text render has its other, its own visible. Um, this can be quite finicky. Um, so the way that I've done it is I'm just manipulating this one, the visibility of the text render. I'm setting that to off, but then I'm, um, and then I'm referencing that and, and switching that. So make sure that you're referencing the right thing to toggle on and off, because it actually can be pretty crazy making um, when you get in there and you're not really sure what you're referencing. But uh, so just, just check what you're actually referencing and what you're making visible or hiding. And that's it.